Hey guys, Katie Hill Farmer coming back with another farm vlog. Today we're going to be fixing the John Deere 2038R tractor. Had a little boo-boo uh, on it. Uh, before we get into the video, guys, uh, I do have the torpedo heater on, so it is going to be a little noisy. I hope that don't bother you too much. And also, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. This is what we do on the channel. Talk about cattle, hunting, farming, just good old country stuff. So hit the uh, like button if you already subscribed hit the like button on the video and also if you leave a comment i will try to get back to them as quickly as possible usually what i do is i take a night and try to return everybody's unless it's just comment and stupid stuff so but anyhow as you can see in an earlier video uh it might be out before this one i'm not sure but uh we got the chains on a 2038 our tractor uh, i got these at an auction and uh, got them on there. Still ain't got to run them much. They are a little bit rough, but I think they'll help us out tremendously. Got good, good bit of space all through. Uh, I'd like to get a set maybe on the front, but uh, I got this set right here way too wide. Uh, the set that came that I got for the back way too wide. So I'll have to find a, probably some type of icebreaker chain or something for the front of it. But uh, anyhow, uh, what we have is on the three-point hitch on the John Deere 2038R. Uh, as you can see, this fork is kind of bent. So uh, I got the torches hooked up, so we're gonna try to bend it back. If not, I'll just have to order another one and may try to get through this winter because I don't use my three-point implement that much in the winter. Uh, unless we get snow, of course, and I do put the blade on it. But, uh, last year i don't think we plowed snow one time but anyhow let's go ahead I'm, I'm hoping not to mess up the threads when i put heat to this but you just never know like i said guys sorry for the noise we do have the torpedo heater running it is pretty cold out the wind's blowing so no need to be cold when you have a torpedo heater in your shop but uh anyhow Let's get into it, get torches fired up here, see if we can't get this bit back. Okay guys, I got the torch fired up here. I do not have a rosebud, so we're just gonna use a cutting tip. And, uh, let's just see what happens here. glowing let's just see what we can do with it here I'm hoping just be able to use my hand
got it kind of straightened out there. Now I know what a lot of you're going to say that, well, I just took the temper out of that. But you could be right. Uh, it probably will bend easier, but it might get me through. Uh, it's before I have to order another one. I'm not priced it yet, but uh, I'm going to say she ain't that cheap. Put the pin back down through it. Uh, I'm just going to kind of let that cool right there. Actually, I'm going to go get some water. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I got some water here. Let's see what... There goes about a bottle of water. As you can see, it's still pretty hot, but uh, I think it, I think it'll help us here. I really do. The only thing we have to do is, it's kind of got twisted, and we'll have to make sure everything's leveled back up. But we'll let it cool and go from there. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start twisting this part back in now. The reason I didn't take it out of there because I don't, there's a keeper in there that keeps that from falling out so your three point hitch don't drop on the ground is what I'm gonna say that's for anyhow. And the reason I'm screwing it back in that way you can get all your, you know you're not off. I can tell you it's still warm. I can feel the water dropping on my hand. It's uh, water's pretty hot. I don't know if you guys can hear the wind outside, but it is roaring. Really whipping out there, I'll say that. And I do keep this grease, guys, as you can, well, I can smell it right now, but it's, uh, it's, it's greased very well. Once I get this part screwed in here, I'll go ahead and screw that top part in hopefully we didn't it don't look like we messed up any threads it ain't as straight as it came from the factory and i i don't even know how i bent this i'm gonna say with the brush hog just guessing would be my guess is the brush hog got in a bind and, but uh the moment of truth would be actually right now when we go to screw this top part in because she don't screw in and you pretty well know I can grab a hold of the top of it it seems so you can like I said there's still a little bit of a bend to it but it's I can tell you one thing it's already screwed in farther than what it did uh, before we straightened it yeah right there's about it which I'm all right with that we'll go ahead and drop it down and uh sorry about that i kind of flipped you guys upside down but we'll go ahead and put it back in the bar here if we can get it so what it does is it goes through that hole right there in the arm kind of leave you guys down there but uh there she be bring it up here put the washer on it and put this funky looking pin in it and there you have it uh i can already tell you it's better than what it was because before i couldn't bring my arm all the way out here so it is better than what it was now all we gotta do is when we get the Hay spear, whatever goes on the back of it, we'll uh, get the arms adjusted back. And but uh, anyhow, there you have it. Just a quick little fix on the three-point arm, and it's not that bad out, guys. So I want to see what happens. 
Uh, I, I am going to go ahead and get one coming. Uh, do you guys have any call or where you guys get your parts or whatever other than John Deere? Comment below. I'd like to hear from it. But uh, anyhow, guys, that's all I got for this video. I'm going to put the torches away here and uh, get ready to go down to the house. But uh, anyhow, guys, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. See ya.